Hello, hello. I've been asked quite a few times about my current power chair, and since I'm currently waiting on a new power chair that I will get to keep temporarily uh, while I work for this company as an ambassador, um, I figured that this is the perfect time to go ahead and talk to you about my current power chair, and that way we can, you know, look at the two and compare. I got my Easy Light Cruiser last year in December. Um, right before traveling to Tampa uh, to be with family for Christmas. Um, this chair was relatively affordable um, compared to most power chairs, which can range between uh, $15,000 to $30,000, um, probably more. $30,000 is just um, the bizarre price that my friend <laughs> told me her chair costs. Um, but my Easy Light Cruiser... Uh, costs about three thousand dollars or so including accessories um, so that was really great this is my first power chair after using two manual chairs and the exertion that I did with my upper body took a toll um, stretched my ligaments and caused my arm joints to be a lot weaker um, and more painful that's not a common experience. <laughs> uh, that's not something that happened typically. It happened because I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and exertion can cause weakening in my ligaments. The first time I used the wheelchair was in November 2014 uh, and I had to use one full time after my surgery in January 2015. And then I became ambulatory again around July, though my standing limits were and are anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes maximum. Um, so I've been a wheelchair user for just a few years and my house, my car are not really wheelchair accessible. Um, I got around my house okay, but there are steps to get in and out and narrow hallways. Um, my car is a typical compact car. Um, I'm having trouble with the process of getting a wheelchair lift on the back. Um, but with Easy Light Cruiser, this wasn't a problem because it could fold up to fit in my trunk, uh, which I typically need some help with, but it saved me a bit of time and money from having to figure out a lift for my car for that time being, because now I need to get one anyway. Uh, for my independence and for the new chair that I'm about to receive. I loved how easy the website made it to order my accessories. Um, I ordered an extra battery, a headrest. I don't use it often, but I'd rather have it than not have it. Um, and a cup holder. It comes with storage bags um, un underneath the chair, mostly for your battery, but you can fit other things in there as well as the other small bags. Um, and a large pocket behind the seat. I also love how comfortable I am in the chair. The footrest is just right, the, the chair is small enough for narrow spaces, and I can tuck in the footrest if necessary. Um, the chair also reclines, which is amazing for when I need to rest my back. The battery lasts about 15 miles per full charge, and you can have two batteries on you to double that. The batteries I chose are also safe for flying, which was perfect for this past year that I traveled twice by plane. Early on, I did come across a motor problem that the company immediately fixed by sending me a new one. Um, fortunately, the chair functions pretty well in neutral. Um, however, no brakes on neutral, so no steep hills while using that feature. <laughs> And I think that's it. Um, I really love this chair. I'm so happy with it and very grateful um, to everyone who helped me get it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And uh, oh, if you are considering ordering this chair, um, you can use my name as a coupon code. A-N-N-I-E, and you will get $100 off of your share. That's fun. Um, definitely let me know if you use that code. And um, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped uh, you choose um, Easy Light Cruiser if you were planning on it. And I will see you all eventually. Bye.